very good morning and welcome to Adama newspaper highlights today thursday 28th of april 2016 i am edward udiyadas there was a guy in play with the highlights of today's english newspapers as usual we have three newspapers for the highlights daily mirror daily news and salon today the main headline of the daily mirror says government cannot be toppled president says no crisis in slfp but corrupts rocks creating problems president maithripala sirisena while noting yesterday that the government was stable said there was no crisis in the slfp but only a crash between a group of rocks and those who were committed to take forward bandaranayaka's policies and principles speaking to newspapers editors and media institution heads at the president's house yesterday he said that if anyone thought of toppling the government it would only be an unfulfilled dream he said that there was no way that the present parliament's composition can be changed in a conspiratorial manner to form a different government Another highlight says Sampanthan urges Ranil to take action. Opposition leader R Sampanthan had met Prime Minister Ranil Wickremesinghe yesterday and had urged him to instruct the army to release the lands in Klinochi which are privately owned. Mr Sampanthan told the Daily Mirror that he had informed the Prime Minister that the army was not making use of the land it is occupying in Klinochi. I told the Prime Minister that the lands in Klinochi held by the army are private lands and these should be handed over to the rightful owners as the army is not making use of them he said the opposition leader said prime minister vikramasinghe had assured to look into the matter and come up with an amicable solution to the issue tna sampanthan went to a private land not a camp The opposition leader did not try to forcibly enter the army camp but entered a private land the army was illegally occupying in Kalinochi TNA spokesman MA Sumantharan said yesterday addressing a press briefing held at the opposition leader's office to clarify the allegation that the opposition leader had entered an army camp forcibly Mr Sumantharan said it was the army that was illegally occupying the private properties in the area an inquiry should not be held into why the opposition leader entered the land instead an inquiry should be held as to why the army was occupying that land he said npc wants regional council for hill country apart from the federal structure and the remerger of the northern and eastern provinces the northern provincial council has proposed a separate administrative unit called up country regional council for tamils living in the central part of the country it is learned the npc controlled by the tamil national alliance unanimously adopted this resolution calling for the implementation of political proposals secondly let's move to daily news swedish fm turns down vigis plea says sri lanka now a middle income country any request should come from the country's top leadership visiting swedish foreign minister margot wallstrom yesterday turned down a request made by northern province chief minister cb vignes waran to lend special assistance to the northern and eastern provinces as sri lanka had already achieved middle income status Foreign Minister Wallström said Sweden was not in a position to lend special assistance to the northern and eastern provinces for his reason. She said this during a meeting with Northern Province Chief Minister CB Vignes Waran when he requested special assistance from Sweden to the northern and eastern provinces. 13 university students injured in accident. 13 students were injured when a bus carrying university students from Badulla to Jaffna veered off the road and went down a precipice at Mankulam on the Jaffna Kent road yesterday. Police said over 27 university students were on board the bus when the accident occurred. The injured were rushed to the Mankulam and Klinochi hospitals. Government will retain majority stake in Sri Lankan. The majority share in the Sri Lankan Airlines would be detained by the government in a private public partnership power and renewable energy deputy minister Ajit P Pereira yesterday said he also assured that the 6800 employees who currently work for Sri Lankan would not be retrenched Sri Lankan Airlines was a proud and profitable enterprise which won many accolades at one time Finally let's move to Ceylon today 
The main headline of Thessalon today says Sandeep hit and run accident. Phone details imply Tampika's involvement. Police informed court. The Velikada police yesterday informed Colombo Additional Magistrate Chandana Kalasuriya that investigations into the cell phone used in connection with the accident in which two youths suffered injuries at Rajagiriya in late February this year have proved that the cell phone found in the offending vehicle belongs to Minister Patali Ranavaka. Maitri trashes TNA's federal solution and rubbishes Jayalalitha's Ulam cry. President Maitri Palasirisena yesterday vowed he will not allow, support or even acknowledge any proposal that would jeopardize the sovereignty and territorial integrity of the country. Addressing the heads of media institutions at President's house in Colombo yesterday, he said anybody could pass any resolution but it is the government that has to endorse them. He made these remarks when journalists asked about the resolution passed by the Northern Provincial Council calling for a federal solution. Two UNHR experts here on Friday will report to UNHRC. United Nations human rights experts Monica Pinto and Juan E. Mendes will be in Sri Lanka from 29 April to 7 May 2016 to assess developments and identify challenges related to the alleged use of torture and other cruel, inhuman or degrading methods of treatment or punishment on victims, as well as for an in-depth assessment of the extent of independence of judicial process in the country. With that, let's come to an end of today's paper highlights. We will come with more news tomorrow morning. Thanks for listening to other newspaper highlights.